In all honesty, it really just boils down to immaturity. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I appreciate you being here and giving me a view. Uh, today I'm going to talk about using your audience in a negative manner toward another creator. Uh, there's a couple of things that have been going around recently that have been very detrimental to uh, all creators in general because the precedence that's been set, it's not the first time that it's happened, it's not the last time that it will probably happen, but I would like people to think about the impact that all of them create when they decide to do things like this. And so, with that, I'm going to get into the first topic is the It's a Gundam versus Pokimane type of controversy that's going on here. And what it all started with was It's a Gundam made a YouTube video uh, in which he was calling Pokimane a thought and he was he was saying uh, very negative things toward her and her audience. Her audience was tweeting that uh, in very many contexts that they were they were basically simping for Pokimane and wanting to give her a lot of money and everything. And he was basically pointing out the very obvious fact that if you're going homeless or being uh, very irresponsible with your money by donating to a multi-million dollar streamer, a uh, multi-millionaire, that it's, it's just not the smartest thing to do. And he was making fun of that fact because that's what his channel does. He's a provocateur and that's what his content is based around, which is completely understandable for his audience to be able to, to cope with that or not cope with it, but resonate with that and understand it. Um, of course... Honestly, it makes very good sense that Pokimane did not like that. One, for being called a derogatory term, and then two, calling out her community. Um, the problem that I have with the situation is when Pokimane decides to flip it and have her, her army of her community decide to go out and attack someone else. Um, and it really just boils down, I believe, to an immature stance of saying, well, guess what? My people are going to take out your people because we're a closer squad than you. It's the wrong move to make. It really is the wrong move to make. Um, one, because it's against Twitch Terms of Service, which has a zero tolerance policy. Um, so we could see some repercussions of that for sure. Um, but then number two, uh, she, she starts talking about his sponsors. And that's the part that really digs into me. The sponsor has already indicated that the, <laughs> that the audience that is there can generate revenue for that sponsor and they want to sponsor said creator in order to push the product a business transaction, right? And so when, when you start saying that, hey, this creator shouldn't be sponsored by this person, um, you're literally targeting someone's livelihood uh, and that's, that's just very, very detrimental to both, to, to one, the person that you're actually targeting and then two, even yourself, in the fact that future sponsors will then be hesitant toward having personalities or online personalities be sponsored in general. So when you think that you're actually hurting the other person, you may be hurting them, but you're more likely going to, in the long run, be hurting yourself too, in the fact that your sponsorships will, will, will likely fan out too, because why would you take the risk of the personality if it's not needed? And so with that, you have Pokimane versus It's a Gundam. Uh, it's a Gundam kind of laughed it off and, and has gotten a lot of support. Um, and, and I feel like rightly so. He's pointing out something that should be very obvious, but uh, you seem to have a, a group of people who would rather go broke and try to earn the affection of some random person online than be responsible with their money and actually support themselves and their families uh, it is it is baffling to me to say the least. Uh, it's something not that I definitely am not uh, in swing with or anything of that sort of nature. Uh, but that also comes to the fact that I'm trying to uh, build something for myself so that I can self sustain from myself. So, and with that, moving on to issue number two, um, you have Keemstar versus H three H three Productions. Uh, I know there are a lot of people that enjoy Keemstar's little drama alert along with. Uh, a lot of people who love the podcast of H3H3, and so you have a second war going on. And basically how this one started is Ethan Klein with H3H3 Productions put out a video that was called Content Nuke Keemstar. And in this video, he goes back and forth with all the different issues that Keemstar has done over the years. Um, basically what it boils down to is Keemstar is looking out for himself and doing stuff for himself, having guests for himself, being able to monetize different things for himself. Which, understandably, there are different people out there in the universe um, and that they're not all going to be community-type based. And that's 
completely understandable. Dog eat dog world. A lot of people grow up with um, having to deal with those issues uh, altogether. But with all of that being said, the problem that I have with H3H3's uh, initial video is he constantly refers to Keemstar's sponsor, which is G Fuel. And so G Fuel has an issue, or G Fuel has been part of Keemstar's entire brand. Uh, he, he has it sitting on the desk when he's talking. He has it on his hat. He has it literally all plastered all over his identity with drama alert. And while that's maybe a, an inconvenience that Keemstar will have to get a new hat, that's not really the point here. Uh, the point is, is that Keemstar was pushing that product a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton. Um, and since then, since this uh, video has dropped, uh, correlating the negative parts of what Keemstar has done, um, it, you know, making all of those negative parts come out to light in one specific video. Um, it's basically a hit piece that's, uh, that's very detrimental, um, to not only Keemstar, but again, anybody that would want to sponsor G Fuel in the future. Um, I guess the biggest part that I'm wanting to take away from all of this is when we highlight all of the negative parts of one particular person at any given time, um, it can it can be very detrimental not only to that one person but also other people in and of itself. I feel like everybody should just grow in maturity just a little bit. I understand that drama sells. I understand that drama gets clicks. That's the whole reason you're probably watching this is to hear the comments that I have to talk about on the situation in and of itself. But with all that being said, when you start hurting people's livelihoods, I feel like that's way way too far for a drama type session. Um so moving on with Keemstar and H3H3, basically Keemstar comes back and starts talking about some of the terrible things that uh, H3H3 has done as far as like trying to scam people with Payday 2, which doesn't really seem to be the case, especially since H3 had a follow-up video in which they had one of the creators come on and actually show that, no, nah, there was no scam going on. It was a legit deal that went over very, very well, and everybody's very happy about it. Anyway, long story short, I would like to think that people who are watching this who might have a larger audience would be careful, would be very careful about how they use said influence. Um, I don't think it's right to be able to make a mob mentality from your community. Every person has an individual right to their thoughts and, and, and things that they do, the, the actions that they take. Now, while I don't condone every single action that every single person takes, I do believe you have the right to, to do said actions um, and I might view poorly on it, but if you're not breaking a law, if you're not doing anything that's against the rules or terms of service of whatever platform you're on, then I can't really fault you in what you're doing. Um, with that being said, tell me if you liked the video. Think about leaving a like if you could. Tell me your thoughts on each one of the situations down below in the comments. I will honestly, I will honestly try to uh, respond to every single one, giving an idea of where it's at. I try to go middle road on all of this just due to the fact that I can understand the responses from both sides of the party and I can understand the frustration from both sides of the party. But my biggest thing is to not go after sponsors. Sponsorships are very, very difficult to get. Um, and it's, it's, I don't believe it's right for you to start blaming a company or hit up a company to say, how dare you sponsor this person for this content? That they had. I mean, I'm sure there are different hiccups and missteps that I've done throughout my career that if you put them all together would look make me look very, very bad. That's just the way that humans work. If we highlight every negative aspect of a person in, in a 30 minute span, um, they're going to look like a very demonic person um, in the same way that Keemstar has also put on tournaments with money to be able to uh, have fun entertainment and engaging competition for for people all over the place, um, it, it, it's it's baffling to me. It's baffling to me to see that you know a mix of bad is also a, has a mix of good in it, um, and so I can't think that you can fault someone solely for uh, for only the faults in their life for the all of end time. Um, it's uh, it's reaching, it's degrading, uh, and overall, it's just not it's not very positive in any sense of the term. So. Um, if you're taking out someone else's sponsor for the negative things that they've done, then your sponsor should leave for the negative things that you've done. Just, just think about it when you're creating content, 
that is supposed to be derogatory for someone else. It's, uh, it's not a good look for either side. Anyway, these are my thoughts. Uh, this is all I've got to say. So, again, if you think about hitting the like button, that'd be great. If you want to talk about any of this live with me, I stream on Twitch every single day at 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Would love to see you over there. Um, anyway, I'm out. There's some more content popping up if you want to take a look at those. And I will see you guys in the next video. Deuces. Have a good day. I'll see you guys later.